You're a Muslim, are you not? Do you believe Allah was unjust in causing I, I, the world to flood? That's my question to you, yes. Well, it's actually not struck evidence that the entire world was flood. Allah said it was. There's no problem. No, no, I'm waiting for you. You're free. I think we're going to go off. You're giving her easy. I'm not going anywhere. I'm trying to refute what you're saying. Well, I do apologise. I think it's. So, coming back to my point, let's look at some facts. In 1 Samuel 15, the God of your uh, your religion, who you believe is a God of love, yes. who loves who loves everyone unconditionally. This same no, he God. Doesn't love everyone excuse me, I'm, I'm sorry. Do you want to explain what you mean? Yes, I do. There's there's such a thing as his wrath. Okay, so you believe uh, the God of love. I've heard uh, you say this many many times. The problem is, any of the prayers of God. The Old Testament scriptures, anything but loving. He's a God of wrath, he's a God of genocide. So what I mean by genocide is where this is how she laughs. Like a flood? Uh, you mean? No, I don't. Make sure you choose an example that Allah doesn't have a part in all this. Can we, right. can, you, can you lay a response? Can the cameraman stop being like a, an interjector? This is my style of debate. Who knows me? Oh, he lame this no, it's not you my style of debate. <laughs> You're doing it now. You're doing it now. You're constantly interrupting. Well, if you carry on speaking, I'm not. No, you cut your. Sorry. How long do you want? I don't know. Two minutes, two minutes? No, five minutes. Bring ten minutes. Wow. Maybe ten minutes. Maybe ten minutes. Maybe ten minutes. So, because I asked you how long you get, you said, oh, I'll bet. Do I make my point? So, the point is this the God of Christianity, your your God, Jesus, you you think is God, even though he denied he was God, that's another subject. You believe that he is a God of love. And that is a big difference, you think, to God of Islam, even though it says in a number of places in the Quran, many places, that God is loving, a God is love. But that's to one side. In your Old Testament, God is not just portrayed as a God of wrath, but a God of genocide. For example, in the first chapter of Samuel, um, 1 Samuel 15, I should say, verses 1 to 4, uh, the prophet Samuel instructs King Saul, because he's been told by God, to go to the Amalekites, that's their name, the Amalekites, uh, and to specifically exterminate them. But it's not just the men, oh no, it's actually the women too, but not just the women who are to be specifically targeted for killing. It is children, it says children, look it up, 1 Samuel 15, look it up in your Bibles. But not just, but not just, so you're interrupting, 1 Samuel 15. 1 Samuel 15, not just the children, but babies are targeted for extermination. You heard the Nazis, what the Nazis did to the Jews? Well, this is the Old Testament story, exactly the same. The systematic extermination of whole peoples. And there are many examples in her scriptures where she says, our God is a loving God. And she criticizes Islam. And, and yet her own Bible has exterminations on exterminations. Nothing like that in the Quran. Let me finish it. Now, the story is worse than that. The story is worse. Let me explain why. Because King Saul, the king of Israel, the first king, failed in his duty to obey God and God reprimands him for his failure to exterminate. What was he criticized for? For not obeying the commandment to exterminate every baby, every child, every woman. It gets worse. I'm oh. sorry, there's layers upon layers of horrific, horrific wickedness here. I'm sorry, I haven't finished yet. You're interrupting. I am. Now, let me, let me give, let, now, what is the crime that these people had committed? Let's look at their sin. Let's look at their wickedness. Because maybe, as she's implied, they deserved it. The babies deserved to be sorted. Maybe the children deserved it. Because the passage says what their crime was. 
let me tell you what, and look it up. I really urge you to get a copy of the Bible and look up 1 Samuel 15 and read it in context for yourself. So what does the Bible say? The Bible Should we listen to him? No, you're talking to your friends. So coming back to the passage. Literally. So let's not talk about rudeness. I'm talking about Well, they can move their camera, surely. You don't need to literally go like this, do you, Paul? Because that is rude. By any Wow. Anyway, as anyway, I was saying, so if you just pull what is the crime, crime? What is the sin oh, these babies and women <laughs> committed? Can you let him finish and be respectful? I know, I've heard this before. Can, can I? No, but other people have. Be heard respectful. It. He just put his back to me. I didn't put my back to you. you I faced the camera. Did. So don't take offence so easily. I haven't taken offence. If you're very I've said thin that skin, I don't take offence so easily. Not at your age. You don't want to be throwing that one at me. Anyway, can I continue, please? You're interrupting again. Okay. So what is the? Sermonising to the cameras. That's what you're doing. You're not here to have a conversation. Uh, I'm not going to address the cameras because she's, 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 she's taking to derail no. uh, what I'm saying. Okay. Okay. It is so embarrassing. It is so embarrassing. He's so responding to our points. He's what is the crime, points. the sin? Oh, okay. The wickedness oh, that the Amalekites had committed, according to 1 yes. Samuel 15, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was this. It's a rhetoric. Oh, oh, they oh, didn't oh, want oh, me to say. Oh, 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 look at the howls of progress. Look at the howls of progress. Look so, for the umpteenth time, what is the country? You are literally asleep. You are literally sleeping. Don't you? You're asleep. You're asleep. I just want to wrap up here, if I may, explain to you the reason why her God. The God of love, remember, who chastises the Muslims for not having a loving God, even though the Quran says that he's a God of love a number of times. What is this loving God command? Why does he order these people to be exterminated? According to the Bible itself. Because it says, if you look at 1 Samuel 15, their ancestors, 300 years earlier, fought against the Israelites when they were coming out of Egypt, in the exodus of Egypt. So their distant ancestors, three centuries before, committed certain crimes. I'm not bothered whether or not they're true or not. So therefore, three centuries later, the women, the children, the babies, but all of them, everyone must be slaughtered. Now I have to ask you, I have to ask you this question. Is this a loving God? Is this a God of justice? Is this a God of mercy? Is this it a God? So long as it's not done deliberately. Is it a speech so of ours? Is it a speech of ours? Why are you trying to continue? No, 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 no,
aggressor. Yes, do not kill non combatants. Do not start wars. The Bible is the opposite. So the God of love here is a myth. There is no God of love in the Bible. It's a cherry picked, cherry picked verse. Hello. If anybody's still awake out there, is the camera rolling? Your profit. Is the camera rolling? Let me get a chat. I'm not taking the time. 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 I'm not taking the time.